anywhere you are on the island, you are going to have some view. And you're, but you're always looking through trees. Right. See, that's the thing that's, that really is so amazing. It, it's fascinating because when Francois bought the island approximately 20 years ago, it was like a blank palette. These trees weren't here. The, the center was like a giant dry soccer field. And he oversaw the planting of each palm tree so that the angles were a little bit different. He didn't want straight lines going up everywhere. Very meticulous. Oh, it was incredible. The same degree of expertise and type A personality to create the structures went into the outside. And he brought in a famed Parisian landscape designer to plant all of the uh, flora and oversee all of the plants that were brought in and everything else, it's, and it shows. It feels magical, really. It is. Coming here, you would feel like it's natural. That's right. That's how magnificent the architecture is here, where even the trees were architected and engineered. That's exactly right. If you were to fly over this with a helicopter, a drone, or a plane, it just looks like a deserted island that's very lush. When in fact, again, that was the design. But when you arrive here, there's all these different areas that are basically camouflage within the canopy yeah. and every view to the outside is through you know this magnificent you know set of 1500 palm trees this is truthfully you know the the, the ultimate